This video shows you what to do if your printer does not pick up or feed paper from the input tray when you do have paper loaded and an attention icon displays on the control panel. Sometimes the problem can be fixed just by doing a printer reset. First, make sure the printer is powered on. If it is off, press the power button. Next, turn to the back of the printer. Without turning the printer off, remove the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds for this type of reset. Reconnect the power cord to its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Turn back to the front. If the printer does not turn on automatically, press the power button to turn it on. Open the paper output tray and raise the paper input tray. Then, load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. To print a page from the printer control panel, press and hold the black and color copy buttons. Release both buttons at the same time. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Often, the condition of the paper you're using can cause paper not to feed correctly. Foreign objects stuck inside the printer can also cause paper feed problems. Remove the paper from the input tray. Turn to the back of the printer. Look inside the input tray and remove any foreign objects such as paper clips, pens, or other objects that might have fallen inside. Use a flashlight to illuminate the area. Use your fingers to move the pick mechanism located inside the input tray and remove any foreign objects that are found. Ensure there are no foreign objects remaining inside the input tray. This could result in further jams or damage the printer. Go back to the front. Close the input and output trays. Turn the printer so that you can access its underside. Locate the cleanout door and press the tabs on either side to open it. Carefully remove any paper you see. If the paper tears while removing it, check inside the door for any torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more jams are likely to occur. Close the cleanout door and gently push the door forward until it snaps into place. Turn the printer over and return it to its normal position. Open the input and output trays. Turn to the back of the printer. Look inside the input tray for any foreign objects that might have shifted when the printer was turned over. Use a flashlight to illuminate the area. Use your fingers to move the pick mechanism located inside the input tray and remove any foreign objects that are found. Go back to the front. Now, examine the paper you removed earlier. Remove any damaged paper you find. Make sure that there are at least 10 sheets of plain white paper, but no more than 25 sheets in the paper stack. The printer can hold more sheets of paper, but this number is best for testing. Make sure all of the paper is the same size and type, and then tap it on a flat surface to get the edges perfectly aligned. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. 
Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. To print a page from the printer control panel, press and hold the black and color copy buttons. Release both buttons at the same time. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Printer rollers get dirty from dust, paper fiber, and other debris. In this step, we'll clean the rollers. Before you begin, gather the following cleaning materials. Clean, lint-free cloth. Clean cotton swabs. Clean water. Distilled or bottled water is preferable, but not required. Do not use alcohol or other chemical cleaners. Remove the paper from the input tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back of the printer. Disconnect the power cord. Look down through the open input tray and find the black paper pick rollers. Use a flashlight to illuminate the area. Clean the rollers visible in the printer with a clean cotton swab lightly moistened with water. Use a cloth to blot excess water from the swab. The swab should be damp, but not soaking wet. Wipe each roller, starting on the right side of the roller, and wiping to the left. Use the swab to turn the rollers up as you finish cleaning a section of the roller. Make sure that you remove any buildup or debris from the entire surface of the rollers. Reconnect the power cord. Go back to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Then, load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. To print a page from the printer control panel, press and hold the black and color copy buttons. Release both buttons at the same time. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the page does not print, try printing it again. Listen for the rubber paper pick rollers. You should be able to hear them rotating. Then, try slowly pushing the paper farther in until the roller engages to pick up the paper. Be careful to only push one sheet of paper and not to push it in too far. This can cause paper jams. If the page does not print when slowly pushing the paper farther in, repeat the previous step to clean the rollers again. If the issue continues after repeated cleaning, skip the next step. Your printer may need to be serviced. If the page prints when slowly pushing the paper farther in, try printing the original document again. The paper might not have been loaded far enough into the printer. If the issue is resolved, there is no need to continue troubleshooting. If the paper only feeds through the printer when you slowly push it farther in, repeat the previous step to clean the rollers again. If the issue continues after repeated cleaning, skip the next step. Your printer may need to be serviced. Next, we'll make sure the paper settings in the print driver match the settings for the paper you are trying to use. On your computer, return to the document in the program you are trying to print from when the issue occurred. On your keyboard, press Ctrl and P to bring up the Printing Properties window. Click Properties. When the Properties box opens, click the Paper Quality tab. Select the Paper Size drop down menu and then choose the appropriate paper size. Select the Media drop down menu and choose the appropriate paper type.
Click OK at the bottom of the Properties box. Click OK again to print the document. If the document prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the document does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.